This is Molly. Molly's my gay cat. <laughs> yes, I said my gay cat. Loves kittens. Unless he's cold, he's not interested in sleeping on my lap. But everybody slept in here last night. And uh, spilled water on my table. But that's not important. When he was a kitten, I had brought his mama in. His mama's name is Penny. And she was short hair. But she was hanging around my gray cat that lives outside. And I was feeding them. And then I noticed she was ripe for kittens. I didn't know she had had them. And that I was keeping her from them. I picked her up, scooped her in my arms, and we were inside. It was fast, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I have to think of easy before I get the whole thing. And then one day, Penny, the person, and I, we were going to the food bank, and out she went. She's back that night, and she was on my porch. I didn't realize she had brought back a kitten. She was going to go and bring them all back, and I didn't know that. And I will always regret not letting her do what she was doing and just leave her be. But she brought Molly back. And I didn't see him till the next day. Yes, I said him. I'm, and I will never dress a cat or a dog in pink. But I am not beyond accidentally naming a boy cat a girl name or a girl cat a boy name. This is Molly. It took me a whole week. Two years ago, in October, when it was so gosh darn horribly cold. And he finally just gave up. I mean, you can't run very quick on a cane. And I tried to get him. And try not to fall down. And he finally just, it was raining out and he was so cold and just... Evidently, he had been going back and forth to wherever she had had them. And he was the only one courageous enough to come back out because he knew where Mom had gone. And he wanted to find Mom. And I scooped him up and brought him inside. And Mom had been beside herself. She couldn't get outside. She couldn't find the rest of her babies. She didn't know anything. But she knew him when she saw him. Took care of him right away. I just knew he had to be a Molly. After the unsinkable Molly Brown, played by Debbie Reynolds, in a great musical. So here he is, on my lap. I have to get up, but boy, he's so nice and warm and comfortable, and the, the babies are just loving him there. He didn't really care. He just lopped down on top of whoever might be underneath him, because you see this one's still underneath. <laughs> I got cold medicine in, in him this morning, and... No one likes it. You know, the vet said it tastes like bubblegum. Why in the world would cats care if it tastes like bubblegum? They've never chewed it. <laughs>